Hey, welcome back to JRM360. Now, you might remember at the end of episode 14 how I noticed that one of our employees brought a refrigerator, put it in the back of his pickup truck, just brought it to work. You know, parked it right out front. Who brings a refrigerator in the back of their truck to work? It's like he woke up that morning and said to himself, Self, what's the redneckiest thing I can do today? I got it. I'm going to tote some kitchen appliances in the back of my truck and park it right out front of work. Make Junior Motorsports look like a yard sale. Woo! Well, I went looking for our employee of the year, and wouldn't you know it, it's my boy, Tony Bean Burrito Barclay. Great guy, great mechanic, known him since the days with the number eight Budweiser car. But you know what? The refrigerator was the least screwed up thing about Burrito Barclay's truck. Hello, Barclay. How are you? I'm well. You used to work at Dale & Hart Incorporated. Yes, sir. What would Big E think if you parked a refrigerator out front of his race shop? I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be there by the end of the day. <laughs> it's, not so much, it's not so much that you didn't look very cool because clearly that wasn't your chief concern. It's the safety aspect of it. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't OSHA approved there, the way I had it tied down. A little tap on the brakes, buddy. And then we'll see you in court. Oh, yeah, I know. Do you think we could kind of throw some chairs in the back of your truck, too, kind of have a little party? I'm back there. Did you see all the rest of the junk in the back of the truck? I've actually heard stories about your truck. I'm hoping you'll give uh, JRM 360 oh, a tour of it. Please, no. Not no, please, yes. Just don't look inside the truck. All right, now let's go for a tour to Barclay's truck. Come on. Just in the floorboard of the driver's side, we find... Keys. <laughs> a, a, a sandblaster. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. How many keys do you need? You know, Barclay's always been the kind of Extend gratitude to anybody that does him a service. That's why he has a thank you <laughs> decal in the floorboard of his car. Star Wars rappers. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to step out of the car. What's funny about this is if I put this, back, this stuff back, what are the chances that Barclay goes, where is the sandblaster that I had in the floorboard? Why did I find that in the back? I specifically had that near my feet for when I'm driving. Apparently, Barclay forgot that he left some of his lunch in the truck. I'm going to go bring it to him. I didn't want you to be hungry. I brought your, you, I think you left some of your lunch. Uh, I just told him, I said, who knows what they're going to find inside of that. It was pretty clean. It, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had a lot of good emails from you guys uh, this week at JRM360 at JRMRacing.com. And we picked a good one here from Patty Golan, Long Island, New York. Uh, her question is, Dale Jr., we love seeing video of your pets on your property. And I think Killer is quite handsome. However, we really never see pictures of Stroker Ace. How about sharing Stroker with the fans? He's definitely a beautiful dog. Well, Patty, thank you for your email. And we are actually here at Dirty Mo Acres right now. And we're going to go see Stroker. Hey, Stroker. Stroker. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. That's a good dog. And here is Stroker. And Dale Jr. got Stroker uh, a few years ago. He's a great Dane. And uh, obviously, you don't see him a whole lot because he just doesn't get around too well. But he's a good dog. And thank you, Patty, for emailing your question. Folks, remember, send them on in, JRM360 at JRMRacing.com. We'll do our best to answer them. All right, that's it for JRM 360. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Now you want to go Taco Bell? Sounds great. All right, man. You drive. No, I'll drive. <laughs>